Okay, so what's going on guys? This is a tutorial showing you how to get different costumes in the Amazing Spider-Man game. So, firstly what you're going to need to do this is to have completed the third mission and unlocked the camera. And you will also need to have changed the date on your console. So, the easiest way to do this is just go to your console settings and change your date to the 1st of the 1st, 2013. So that's January the 1st of next year. I don't know why they've done this and why you've had to have waited until sometime in December, I think it was, to have been able to unlock these but this you know will help you unlock them quicker obviously so we're just approaching the first one now and it will be the black suited spider-man which i'm just wearing now it's personally my favorite costume out of the ones that you can unlock and reminds me a lot about the film which is my favorite spider-man film number three where he turns evil so you as you can see there's just this hut here in the middle of this little park area and you'll need a usual camera and take a picture of the spider-man logo which is above on the ceiling of this Huh. And as I've already got it, you won't be able to see me take it, but your little highlight thing will go green, you can just see it there. It will go green and it will load saying that you've unlocked the new costume. So these are dotted about the map in several different places. The next costume which we'll be finding will be called Negative Zone. It will be black and white and its logo is found on top of a building just here near the bottom of the map. And this one is probably the sort of middle of the sort of goodness of the costumes. It's, it's not overly impressive and there are better ones and there are worse ones. So as you see it's just this building here so quickly go up to it and you'll see that there's the logo which you need to take a picture of on the side of this building. And I've really got this one as well so it won't come up saying that I've unlocked it. The next one we'll be finding is called Future Foundation and this is personally the worst costume in the game. It is a lot similar to the black suited Spider-Man but he's got sort of grey trousers as you'll see at the end of the video when I go through all the costumes unlocked. It is not the best looking costume and it personally I would not use it, there are far better ones in the game. So this one's, you know, if you want to just get there for variety but personally I would just never use it. It's just on the corner of this building on my left, just round here next to the petrol station. And this one will be a yellow Spider-Man logo and it won't be that hard to miss. You can clearly just see it here on the wall. So this one I haven't unlocked yet. So as you see the cursor goes green and I'll get a message pop up saying future foundation and then new costume unlocked. All right, so this one is called Big time, and it is located just here on the middle strip of the map. As you see, the little building bit on the map, it will be on a little red ramp. Well, it looks like a ramp, it's probably just a bit of architecture, but it's very noticeable and you won't miss it. As you can see, it's just there. So, this one is a dark blue costume, and it will have like neon green eyes and patterns on it. And it's probably another one of the ones which looks pretty good to play with. And as you can see I haven't unlocked it and it's called Big Time so this is the second to last one that you'll find moving on to the last one this one is located in Central Park and it is called Scarlet Spider this one will be in the middle of the park about there just by the path and it will be on the side of a bridge now this one's probably my second favourite of the costumes that you can unlock and they are it's a red and black costume and it sort of shows off Spider-Man's muscular body so I don't know what you think about that and obviously you might have to jump or hop to the logo because you know you can't really swim that well on trees and as you can see uh, there's a comic book just on the top of the bridge and it's there on the side so you just need to get your camera out again take the picture and you'll unlock Scarlet Spider now this one you don't actually need to change the time of your Xbox but it will be easier if you just change it and get all five of them at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the house so you can see what all the different suits look like. So firstly we have the original costume there. Then we have Scarlet Spider, which is my second favourite costume out of them all. Uh, the black suit, which is my personal favourite from Spider-Man 3. 
we have negative zone which is the black and white one we have future foundation which is the awful looking one and we have big time which is the blue and neon green one so as you see my wardrobe is not full they are other costumes which would require you to do other things such as the Stan Lee costume which you may have seen in a video that required you to pre-order the game there's also one from a DLC expansion pack and another one for completing the game 100% so this was just a video to show you how to get the ones in game at any time so I hope you find this useful and if you're playing the game you can now use a different suit on your Spider-Man and make it more interesting so thanks for watching